Hello everyone. Let's take a look at a project called Open Interpreter. Uh, it's getting kind of popular on GitHub with number of forks and stars. Um, so it's described as being an open source, locally running implementation of OpenAI's interpreter. Behind the scenes, it actually supports GPT-4, but also Code Llama as well. I'm going to be running this on my Mac uh, using Code Llama. So let's take a look how we can get this running. It supports running it through the terminal, also has a Python package that you can incorporate into your Python scripts. Before we actually get started, let's take a look at the comparison to ChatGPT's code interpreter. So the OpenAI version has no access to internet, limited set of pre-installed packages. I'm assuming this is for the Python and Bash environment that it uses also has a file upload limit and a runtime limit as well. It, from time to time, it looks like it also clears out your state, uh, which means losing your environment. Um, so yeah, let's get this running on a local machine to see if it's any good. Uh, so before we do anything, because this is a Python project, we need to set up Conda. So I'll give it a name, call it code interpreter and use Python version 3.10. So we'll install all the necessary packages. Take a second. Once that's done, we'll have to activate the environment. Okay, the environment's active. So what we gotta do now is install the open interpreter Python package using pip. Everything installed successfully. Okay, now we can actually run this. If we tag on dash dash local, uh, that will tell Open Interpreter that we want to use Code Llama versus GPT-4. So let's try doing that right now. So let's try. The first choice we have to make is the parameter count that we want to be using. Typically with a bigger parameter count, it will take a lot more resources, but it will be more accurate and capable. Next up, we have to select the quality for the model. As you can see here, bigger the model, the more RAM it will use, and it will also need more disk space. With this project being in beta, uh, it looks like with GPU enabled, it tends to crash from time to time, so I'm going to hit no for now. For us to use Code Llama locally, we need to have Llama CPP uh, installed on a local. So I'll hit yes. Okay, so it looks like that was a success. I do have this message that talks about having to install ARM version of Python to have better performance. Not sure why I have this error message because I do have the ARM version. Um, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. Um, and as you can see, we actually have a prompt. Okay, so I'll start simple and maybe ask it to figure out which version of Mac OS I have running right now. It looks like it's using a command called swverse to figure out the version. Uh, we'll give it a try here. Oh, also it's asking us for confirmation before running this command, which is great. Um, I do see at the top here that if you uh, invoke the interpreter command with uh, dash y, it will actually bypass these uh, command confirmations in the future. But for right now, I'm happy that we have this confirmation, so I'll hit y. Okay, yes, that is actually the right version of macOS that is currently running. And it also puts it in a nice little sentence and ready for another prompt. So for this next question, I have a CSV file which contains population data for United Kingdom over several years. Um, so I'm going to ask what kind of data uh, it sees in that CSV file.
So it's going to run a simple cat command. Sure. So it's actually describing the file as a population data for different countries over time. That's correct. The first row contains column headers. Okay, it lists out the actual columns and rows represents the country's population in a given year. Yes, this is all correct. Let's ask it to figure out the population delta between 1995 and 96. Let's see how it does it. It's going to cat, look for United Kingdom, look at the fourth column, which is a year. Oh, not exactly sure what happened, but it does say too many tokens and exceed context window of 1048. Hmm. I'm going to put a pause on this question for now. Um, instead of asking for a delta, I'll ask for um, a sum, maybe for all the years uh, for UK during the 90s. So let's see what it does this time. It's actually using pandas this time. So it'll read the file. Get all the rows where the year is 1990 and 1999 and do a sum. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, I'll run it. Uh, and yes, that number is actually correct. And it'll put it into a nice sentence for us as well. Um, so what I'll do is actually I'll go back to our question um, of getting the delta between 95 and 96. See if it makes a difference this time. Okay, it's actually using pandas this time. Reading the file, assigning 95 and 96 into its own variable. Mm, a little bit weird that it's doing a sum on one row. Um, but it is doing subtraction between the two years, so that does look okay. And yes, that number is actually correct as well. So yeah, I feel like there's still some bugs that needs to be worked out. Um, but overall, very interesting project, and it works fairly well, and I'm sure it'll work even better with GPT-4. Um, but very interesting to see uh, it running decently on uh, Code Llama on a uh, Mac uh, locally. So thank you guys. Please give it a try. I'll see you next time.